It is a good day to have a great day. Hi, everybody. I'm Scotty Gange. And today really is spectacular because we get to enjoy the game of the year. I'm so fired up to share this game with you at home. Two of the very best student sections in Colorado, Regis Jesuit. How about the Red Sea and Rock Canyon with their Golden Boys and the Crazies? This is an epic meeting, too. Regis led by Tere Fulcher and legendary coach Ken Shaw, who I love. Number one, Rock Canyon. They've got dudes Aiden Peck and Gavin Hirschberger, my new favorite player. How about Gavin? This dude plays harder than anyone I've seen in the state all year long. I love it. I love it. Kevin Fuchs of Rock Canyon, same vibes. How about a chase? down smack for you. Okay, Kevin, fire me up. And who could forget Peck? Throw it down on his head. We had some great basketball in this one. And a big question in our state, too, may have been answered. Hey, for all those who are asking, who's the best student section in the state? Well, here's your answer. There's your answer, and here come the Raiders. Teray Fulcher, don't let Teray get hot. Don't let Teray get hot. Regis on the comeback. Oh no, Joe. Fulcher to Joe DeRay, back to back. Three balls, come on. The swag is in the air for you, Joe. Fire me up. Here's Teray, down two. Regis Jesuit is, don't let him get hot. There he goes, muscles his way in to tie the game in the final minute. Now Regis a chance to win, and there's Hirschberger. Laying his body on the line, gets the charging foul. Rock Canyon ball, the number one team in the state. Four seconds left, you gotta drop a good play, and it's time to meet Mac, the golden boy, Terry, for the win! <laughs> I don't know. I was, maybe got hit in the mouth or something. Hey, first thought that when you saw that go in, what was that feeling like for you? Dude, that was amazing. That was a great game. They're, they're a great team. I gotta give respect to them. Played a hard fought game and just, uh, yeah, just gotta give respect to them. We played our hardest. We got the win, so that's all that matters. You gotta stick with your stuff and know what you can do. Score points on off the mat and just go win. Hey, things you love to see, the top of the Rockies wrestling tournament is underway at Centaurus High School. I'm just excited to be here, competition. Love it, this is, these are tournaments we live for. This really is a wild meet full of some of the greatest wrestlers in the state of Colorado. For some brackets, it's tougher than the state tournament. Uh, it's kind of like a super, super state. My bracket, number one and number two from every classification are here, so it's, it's a fun one for sure. Hey, a few guys to watch. Ponderosa freshman Thomas Verrett, a fun young guy to see, looking pretty ferocious on the mat. And Fort Morgan's Rennell Akili battling his way through the tough competition. It's kind of scary, you know, because you're like, this is how state's going to be if you do bad, you know. But at the same time, like winning this kind of matches make me feel like, you know, like I belong here. And how about the skill of Arvada West's Austin Udaley? Starts the tournament off strong with a quick victory and still remains with some style. How do you go from pinning a guy to having the hair perfectly feathered and everything? <laughs> I, I try my hardest. Sometimes it doesn't work out as well, but I have no idea, honestly. <laughs> Hey, believe it or not, the state wrestling championships less than four weeks away. GW just honored perhaps the greatest athlete in Colorado high school sports history, who just might have a little swag, too. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome home. He is GW's greatest winner. Chauncey Billups, a Colorado basketball legend on the high school, college, and pro level, was honored today from the ground up. This is an amazing honor for me. I've been very fortunate in my career to accomplish a lot of things. This is going to rank right at the top. What's different about this kid to this man right here now? A little gray hair. <laughs> No hair up top. Other than that, not much. What do you remember most not about much. this time? Man, some of the best years of my life, man, being here at George and at this school and so many relationships and people that I met. I met my wife here. This is where it all started for me, you know? 
With his high school court now named after him, you could say the king of Park Hill has accomplished it all. But there's one thing he's still missing. I don't think there's any more awards you could have won in your time. I mean, two state championships, Colorado Mr. Basketball, three times. You were prom king also. <laughs> but if you were, if this award were around in your time, this is what we give out to the greatest high school athlete every week, you would have won like 50 of these guys. So we'd like to give you an honorary Nine News swag chain. And congratulations to you. I'm humble, I'm grateful, thank you, I love y'all. We've said it a thousand times, the, the swag chain is reserved for the very best of the best. So it only makes sense it, that it's the top award he's gotten, right? Seriously, it actually would have been unfair if he were playing at the time of the swag chain. He would have just he gotten it. We got to get him a two, over, a three, over, a four, a five. He would have been on like the Wall of Fame. Yeah. He would have been in all of it. The prep yeah. probably would be easy. I just say the same thing every week. <laughs> hey, you know, it's time to bring the bling again to GW. I love that. <laughs> That's so great. Thanks, Scotty. We'll be right back.